Hello, so today I will be making a tutorial on hair and fur in Cinema 4D. As it was requested. Come on. As it was requested by Mega Smasher. Mega. The Mega Smash Gamer. Um. So. Here is how you do it. One second, I gotta close. Okay, so as you can see, here it is. So I'll just close this, not save it, and make it 1280 by 720. And all frames, quick time movie. Actually, I'm gonna make this 640 by 360. Yes, it will render faster, and I'll just add global illumination. Because for some reason, that makes the hair black. Um, I'm pretty sure. So I'll just set up my scene pretty fast. Okay. Okay. I'm doing this because it's gonna look better in one second. There isn't a light, and I don't use normal lights because they don't make realistic enough uh, lighting effect. I use this. I just make a plan. I'm probably gonna make a tutorial someday anyway, if it's gonna get requested on how to make good lighting. Realistic lighting. Okay. Um. Let's take a look. So, here you go. And the object. Okay. Actually, yeah, that's something also. Oops. Okay, so make an object that you want uh, to make. Oops, I accidentally clicked something. Um, so we'll try something with the sphere first. So here's a sphere. If you take a look, it's just a normal sphere, and there isn't anything on it. So first, I'll just make some random, quickly some material. Okay, so here's some random material that I made um, for this sphere, and it doesn't look anything like the skin. So, and I'm actually gonna go and make something. Okay, let's. So let's say it's a lion or something. Okay. 
so here is how it's gonna look like if it was just skin oh it gotta be wrinkly too <laughs> sorry I'm just like kinda having fun while making a tutorial Okay, so let's take a look. As you can see, it's kind of wrinkly here. Let's make it more wrinkly. But since the edges are smooth and no lit picture. Um, okay, so now let's add hair to it. So make sure your object is selected. And go to MoGraph, uh, go to simulation, hair objects, add hair. As you can see, when you render it, it has hair. Weird hair, but hair. Alright, second, let me get rid of global illumination, and you'll see that the color of hair is actually different now. And if you watch the animation, the hair just goes down and bounces like this. And I don't really like that. Um, I'll add more frames. So to when you move your object, the hair moves with it. So I just make a simple animation. Oops. Over here you can see that the hair is going to move with it like this so that was the hair and if you want to make fur go to simulation hair objects fur and you'll have fur for your whatever you're making so here's fur and you can also go and of course change the amount so let's make it ten times more it'll take longer to render the hair out as you can see this thing and then it'll render the actual picture so here it is super fuzzy and you can do that with the so let's make some more complex thing let's make a cube Add a bunch of segments. One second. I'm just randomly making this. It's not random enough. Okay, I'm pretty sure no animal actually looks like this. But okay, so let's take it what how it looks like. So as you can see, there's this weird thing here, and if you render it out, it does not have any hair. So okay, let's apply material to it. So here's this weird material, and oh, uh, let's add a hair to it. So here it is with hair. So as you can see, it works for uh, okay, it takes forever one second, gotta change this display to skeleton, which will be, should be much faster. Um so let's just wait some time. Okay, let's take a look at it. 
So here it is with weird hair. Um, so yeah, that was a tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want a tutorial on something else. Please leave it in uh, the uh, comment section. And so thank you and goodbye.